Hello guys, welcome back. As you guys all know, there are plenty of ROMs available for Xiaomi Mi 1. And today I am going to tell you about Havoc OS for Xiaomi Mi 1. And this ROM is based on Android 8.1 with the security patch of June 5th. And in this video, we will check some of its unique features. And I recommend you to all guys to use this ROM once because it has Android P look and some of extra features that are not present in any other ROM. So before we start, my name is Amy and you are watching Android Power. So this is the boot animation of Havoc OS for Xiaomi Mi A1 which is very eye catchy and in my testing Wi-Fi is working fine you can connect to Wi-Fi and regarding the fingerprint fingerprint is also working fine and fast and accurate than the stock ROM and regarding the Bluetooth Bluetooth is also working fine you can connect to Bluetooth without any issues and this is the first look of this ROM and the quick setting panel is look like Android P so we can enjoy the Android P look on Android 8.1 ROM so let's go to the settings and check the Android version and security patch level and as you can see it says based on Android 8.1 with the security patch of June 5th and regarding the voice calls Geo is also working fine VOLT services are there you can make or hear calls without any issues and this is the stock launcher of this ROM this is not the pixel launcher this is the ruthless launcher on this ROM if you long press you can access the wallpapers widgets and home settings if you tap on wallpapers you are getting pixel wallpapers app with this launcher and if you tap on home settings there are plenty of customization available with this launcher you can customize the theme you can customize icons and many other things so moving forward there is nothing special about havoc os until you enter the havoc setting and there are plenty of customization available in this menu and if you enter in status bar menu you can enable double tap to sleep on status bar and also you can adjust brightness slider across your status bar or disable 4G or VOLT signs and you can also enable the data activity in this menu if you enter the quick setting panel you can customize rows and columns for your quick setting panel which will give your device a modern look and the next option is panels if you enter this menu you can customize your volume dialog stroke in my case i like the accent color for my volume dialog stroke and also the volume panel is look like android p volume style which is a plus point of this rom the power menu in this section is also a eye catching thing advanced reboot is also enabled by default you can go to recovery bootloader and restart your system ui with power menu you are also getting some advanced option in ambient display that are not present in the stock ROM. If you enter the interface menu, you can change the device theme to light, dark and automatic. There are also some accent color present for this ROM. You can choose the color according to your preference. You can also enable the blur feature in this menu and if you enable the blur feature and if you pull down your notification panel, the other part of the screen will become blur which will give you a nice look. If you go to lock screen section, you can customize plenty of shortcuts and change their colors. You can also enable the double tap to sleep on status bar along with quick unlock for pin pattern and face unlock. If you go to recent menu, you can customize the clear all button and also you can enable the memory status in your recents which is not present in the stock ROM. The recents layout is also customizable. You can choose between stock, grid and android go. And if you don't like these three, you can enable the Omni switch option from the bottom. If you go to notification section, you can customize this menu as well. You can force notification to be expanded. Also, you can enable or disable immersive mode messages along with heads up. If you go to sound section, you can enable or disable sound for your screenshot or camera shutter, which is very handy. And in the animations menu, you can choose between your screen of animations, system animations, list animations or quick setting tiles animation which is very picky or handy for advanced users. If you go to buttons section, you can enable waking your device with volume buttons. The power button is also customizable. If you enable this option, you can enable the torch by holding your power button for few seconds. 
you can also enable the navigation bar and disable the hardware keys and you can set different actions for your different buttons in the navigation bar in the gestures menu you can enable pie control and gesture anywhere you can set different action for different word for example if you draw O you can launch the camera app which is very handy if you go to battery saving mode you can save some battery by blocking some sensors you can also use suspended action for saving battery for example if you enable suspended action this will switch your network mode to 2G and disable your mobile data when your screen is off if you go to screen section you can enable screen stabilization you can enable smart pixel and you can enable the auto saving battery mode in the miscellaneous menu you can enable some advanced option like you can edit your screenshot with markup app now talking about the camera in this rom the snapdragon camera in this rom is also good there are plenty of customization for snapdragon camera you can also use google camera you need to enable camera to api from the settings and google camera is working fine i have also tested the video playback and the video playback in this rom is also fine now talking about the sound output via headphone jack the sound output via headphone jack is also fine so that's it for now i hope you guys enjoyed my work and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till then i am signing off bye bye